Hi, I'm Alex Travell. Welcome to High Q, the game of academic achievement. Competing today are students from Parkdale High, Margaret Meehan, Peter Townsend, and James Bridgman, and students from St. Anthony's Collegiate, Leonard Mandel, Kathy Mitzen, and Bruce Moffat. Now, each school will have a chance to answer several skill testing questions. And at the end of the game, the school totaling the most points will win the game and also a $250 scholarship to the university of their choice. Now, let's start the game. The first question worth 20 points, and the subject is authors. Margaret Meehan, Parkdale. Henry Miller. I'm sorry, Margaret. Let me please uh, finish the question first, all right? Uh, what famous... <laughs> Margaret Meehan, Parkdale. Victor Hugo. Oh, I'm sorry, Margaret. If you just uh, let me finish the question first, see how it works. Okay. What famous humorist... <laughs> Margaret Meehan, Parkdale. Jerry Lewis. Margaret, I'll have to ask you to please let me finish the question before answering, because that answer was extremely wrong. The question is, I want the name of the famous humorist and author who wrote The Adventures of Huckleberry... <laughs> St. Anthony's Leonard Mandel. Finn. Excuse me? Finn. Huckleberry Finn. You see, Leonard, uh, the problem is that's also part of the question. I hadn't finished the question. If you would please let me finish the question. The question is, what is the name of the famous humorist and author who wrote The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn and Peter Townsend, Parkdale? Truman Capote. <laughs> Truman Capote. No, please let me... And would the audience please refrain from commenting during the program. It's very, very distracting. Please. Not Truman Capote. The question. I want the name of the famous author and humorist who wrote the adventures of Huckleberry Finn and went by the name of Mark Twain. Mark Twain, very, very famous author. No one has an answer. Kathy Mitsud, St. Anthony's. Samuel L. Clark. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you take it, Parkdale? <laughs> James Bridgman. Um, no, I don't know. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, the answer was Samuel L. Clemens. That's what I said. No, Kathy, you said Samuel L. Clark. The answer, Clemens. Well, that's what I meant. Well, you didn't say that! Yeah, you have to say the answer to get points. We're not mind readers. No points on that. Next question. The topic, music. <laughs> Margaret Meehan, Parkdale. The Beatles. Margaret, I will have to ask you to keep your grubby fingers off the buzzer until I finish asking the question, all right? Please, now, name the following piece of music. <laughs> Margaret Meehan, Parkdale. Love to love you, baby. Did I not just say, don't buzz until I finish asking the question? Didn't I just say that? I thought you were finished. Well, I'm not. I'm not finished. You haven't even heard the music yet. Now, identify the following piece of music. Sometimes when we touch... James Bridgman, Parkdale. I'm sorry. No, never mind. I'm sorry. Way to go, Bridgman. All right, look, look. I'm serious. Please refrain from commenting during the program. You have no idea how disrupting it is. Okay, can you take it, St. Anthony's? Peter Townsend. Sometimes when we touch. Peter, can I ask you a question? Sure. Do you go to St. Anthony's? No. Well, it was St. Anthony's turn. You have now just given away the answer. It serves you right. Way to go, Townsend! All right, look, shut up or get out. I will clear the studio if you pinheads don't keep quiet. <laughs> Kathy Mitsud, St. Anthony's. The honesty's too much. <laughs> Sorry, Kathy, uh, that's... Don't know how you could have missed that. They just gave you the answer. He just said the answer. I don't know if you heard him or not. The answer is sometimes when we touch. That's what I said. No, you did not. Yes, well, she did. What, are you deaf or something? You did not give the correct answer. Yes, I did. She did not. That was not the correct. All right, that's it. Show's over. Get out. Everybody out. No winners. No winners. Certainly no scholarships. That's it. No points. Wait a Clear the studio. Come I want you out. Come on. Oh, you want to come up here? Come on. I'll take you on. Because you're 17.
18, huh? Still in your sexual prime. Come on. Watch the stars come up with Merv next on the SCTV Television Network.